WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. I, I do my show, the Tiger Editions Hour, 10 to 11, just finished that, and I have the opening call daily newsletter, that's my service here, Dow's up 55 at 32,311, I couldn't say that just a little while ago, it was down sharply, off the low of 32,038, trading at 32,309, we needed that, it was really important, and uh, the reason why I didn't add, I didn't get into the short position today is that there were enough signs to say that might not have been a one-off move to the downside. Yes, got to respect that. But there were internal signs of strength in different areas. We'll see what happens. The day is young. Anything can happen. But if by the by 2.20 2 this afternoon, if we are down more than 300 points, watch out for Monday. But if we are up even yeah, at 50 points, kind of saving the day, I think that'll be a very big thing. Look at the S&P. The S&P went all the way down. To 38.78 is trading at 39.11, down only seven points right now. <clears throat> That's really important. You're looking at the QQQ, which earlier on tried to rally and it then failed. Now it's down only 29 cents at 292.30. <clears throat> it needs a 296 by Monday to say, whew. Just saved myself there. Look at IWM, the Russell 2000. That's been terrible all day. Now it's still down 250 at 178.90. That's really struggling. Now this is going to be the issue. Does gold hold its gains? So far it's up 33 points at 18.68 as the dollar. Oh, I didn't do much of this in my show. <coughs> I did show it, but not enough. The dollar came from a peak D doji candle target uh, yeah, at 103.30, uh, uh, what was it, 58, I think, or 80. And now it's down to 104.11. And that is a big deal because <clears throat> together with the TLT, which is screaming, was screaming to the upside, still screaming, it's up 3.57 as a safety haven. <clears throat> that means yields are coming down. That's a really good sign. So I'm thinking if, the, if this can happen over and over again, and finally, the uh, jobs numbers start to decrease because that's what's going to happen if these uh, incidents keep happening. Um, maybe the Fed gets it, gets its wish and we don't have to test the October lows. We'll see. All right. Within that context, the volatility index, keep an eye on this. It's not out of the woods. I had a big screamer to the upside. The VIX went to uh, 2511. It's at 2407. If by day's end, there is actually a pullback and the VIX is under 2360 and the Dow manages to hold a plus 70 or more, S&P actually closes positive. That'll be, that'll be a help. It really will be. Uh, stay tuned. Great programming coming up all day here at TFNN. Check out my opening call. I'll be back on Monday. Hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.